got Fulham. Let's talk Fulham. At Fulham, my pick, Pedro Shiravella. Does that name ring a bell? Oh, yeah, I know all about him. Former Liverpool guy at Nantes now. Uh, having a really, really great season there. The reason I picked this guy, A, I saw a couple of Fulham pods and a couple of Fulham like fan boards talk about him. I didn't really know him that well, but I looked into him. Um, Pelin is gone. If not this winter, he's gone in the summer. I think you bring in a guy that can maybe not fully fill the hole that he's going to leave, but but step in and uh, be a help there. He's not that young. I totally get that. But I think right now you're looking at a couple of stop gaps for some of these scenarios, especially if Polina goes in the winter. Um, he's played in the Prem. Not very much, but he's played in the Prem. He, he has the background of being at Liverpool. Uh, <clears throat> I, I just think that when you're at risk of, of losing a dude that is as important to Fulham as Polina is, you're going to have to spend a little bit more money to be as consistent as you want to be. And as much as we've kind of peppered into people's heads, if they listen to this pod, that the bottom three teams are the worst three teams here, and then maybe it's Forrest, dude, I've seen some games where Fulham plays where it might be Fulham right after them. So yeah. I don't think they're going to go down, but you don't want to risk it. So I got... Uh, Pedro Cervella. Cervella. Sorry. Cervella. Um, I, we were talking about, uh, I think you mentioned like Bournemouth and Fulham with Dom Solanke and Raul Jimenez being, you know, I think as a company said, right? Is that what you said earlier on in the pod that yeah. they don't have a player, players like that? I think Raul Jimenez is playing so far out of his ass right now. <laughs> that people are forgetting forgetting that he like went a whole calendar year like season without yeah. scoring a goal uh and hey, it's hey, come back from don't, injury don't be able to see his brain trauma okay coming back listen coming back from injury i get it i, I don't because i've never had a head injury actually i have once but not the same type but i get it yeah um i think that is absolutely a a, a fire burning insanely mm-hmm. hot and I want some backup in the striker position for Fulham. Not wrong. Uh, give Not me, wrong. give me Omar Marmouche, Egyptian from uh, Frankfurt. Now, <laughs> they are still fighting for European position, so they might not be willing to sell him. But Fulham have have a little bit of money. They have that Premier League TV money. You know, they can go there. They can get him. Um, he is seven goals, three assists in the Bundesliga right now. Creates a lot of chances. Uh, he he's somebody I think that you have to get into the game. He he's not like a game changer himself. I think if you play him with, I think Wilson's very good. I think Dick Cordova Reed is very good. William can get people into the game, um, and then he can just kind of post up there, make some through through ball runs, uh, get some goals. He's a good good finisher as well, and he does a little bit of defensive work uh, on the back end. Um, and he's twenty four, and I think that would be be a, a very good signing for them just to bolster that attacking because i think they're dif- defensively they're not bad i think bassey's really good anthony robinson um i hate his nickname i think he's a really good player though and then i think leno's probably a, a under understated goalkeeper in the prem so far yeah i i think it, i was going in my universe where spoiler alert polina does leave in one of my picks up here and i was like man that's the next logical thing but i think you're absolutely right um Company's comment about Raul Jimenez is hilarious because I think on this pod, because Dylan's here and as a Wolves fan, we talk about how bad he's been a few times. But uh, yeah. that that fire is burning quite bright right now, and we've we've seen yes. the reality of it. Michael Bournemouth, 